Backend is essential for almost every real-life application. You need to authorize users, handle their data, fetch content for them, and so on. There must be requirements for the app to handle this. And if there are requirements, there must be tests to validate the implementation of these requirements. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deal with network operations in widget tests. For the demo purpose, I took an app from Anna Domasic that was built for the first Flutteristas conference. I highly recommend Anna's talk if you didn't watch it already. The link will be in the description. The app shows a list of upcoming space mission launches. While the app is teeny, it's developed with dependency inversion in mind, so it should be easy to cover it with tests. Though I will make two changes to the source code. The first one. In the current implementation, the error state of the screen calls add to string on the exception that will put a stack trace into the text widget and that is not what we want in tests, as stack trace might change depending on third parties implementations. I will replace it with a more generic something went wrong text. The second one. Anna registered a network service as a singleton, and that is why she has only one Dio instance. In tests, we will need a single instance of Dio, so I will simplify things for myself and register it as a lazy singleton. By the way, that is not a bad idea to do this in your apps as well. Okay, now we are ready to start testing. I will add a BDD widget test plugin dependency first. Now let's create a test folder with a feature folder in it and write our first feature. Let it be space launch feature. I will leave the text string empty in the last step, as I don't know what string the user will see just yet. We have a few steps to implement. Let's start with the app is running. We need to mimic the real app initialization. It might be copied from the main.dart file. I will add one additional line. Get it reset will reset all dependencies between test steps. Ok, the next step is the backend response with the space launches list. How can we do that? From the top of my head I can see two ways. The first one would be to create a mock class for the service and mock all queries. While this is 100% valid, we will have some functionality not covered with tests. The other way would be to implement a Dio interceptor. Let's create a network folder with an interceptor in it. We need to catch a network query that is going to the following URL and resolve this query in the interceptor. Ok, what should I return in the response? Let's use real data here. I will grab a response from the real API and put it into the string constant. The app goes to this base URL and this endpoint. To get a JSON, I will put a format parameter. Now let's refactor this to the Dart code. I will make this JSON a string. And then decode that JSON string to get a map. And now I can finish the interceptor implementation. It's time to get back to our tests, as now we know the name of the latest space launch. Ok, 
Ok, if we try to run our tests, we will see an error that states that there were some errors during fetching images from the network. The good news is that the app already thinks that it got a response from the real API and tries to load images. The bad news is that it's not possible to get images by network in widget tests. You would not have that problem if you use cached network image, but not everything is lost even for the current plain old image widget. To fix that problem, I will use a Mocktail Image Network plugin by Felix Angelov. You may think of it as an additional network interceptor for images. To make tests work, I need to wrap the step where images are loading, in our case that is and I wait, with the following code. Alright, now the test passes. But we should test not only positive scenarios. What if our backend responded with an error? Let's write one more test. If the backend responded with an error, the user should see a something went wrong text with a broken heart emoji. Seems like I've missed one common step, so let's move it into the background section. By the way, don't do this in real life. Make your test pass and then refactor. BDD is all about writing scenarios and implementing steps. A new scenario is here, so let's implement the new step now. The implementation is almost the same. We could create a new interceptor that will catch required queries and fail them. Or we may extend our current interceptor. Let's do this that way. I will add a new parameter, should fail, and adjust the source code accordingly. Now we have two network tests, one for the positive scenario, when the app had the data, and the second one for the negative scenario, when something went wrong. Using this approach, you may cover all network-related scenarios. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.